Hey everybody, welcome back. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys are having good luck with all of your gardening and all of your projects. And without further ado, let's get to today's project. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little bit out of breath. <laughs> it's uh, quite a bit of work for one person to do, but we're doing the best we can, going little by little. So let's just show you guys what the heck I'm talking about. So first, we got a whole bunch of wood. What would we do with that? Hmm. I don't know. How about a 40 foot by 10 foot water harvesting system? Rainwater harvesting. I got the frame. I got as far as I can go with the frame. Um, I need to get one more of these little blocks. I thought I only needed five, but it turns out I don't know how to measure. <laughs> so I gotta go get one more so we can finish the framing out and then we can go back through here and reinforce everything. We got all the all the brackets, uh, all the brackets made. I designed the brackets on the computer, and then I used a CNC plasma machine to cut those out. So I don't know if you can see that very well, but sort of like a like a Z shape, and then I just folded it over and drilled five holes. So we went every every eight feet, put one up. Got them, uh, let's see if there's 19 of these, 20, I think 20. And then I got to the end here and I had to, I had to make that one real quick because I was one short. So this is the only portion that's going to be uneven. I think these were uh, two feet and that is like 21 inches or something to that effect. But that's okay. That's just the end, so it'll work. So we'll have... Uh, about 20 of these 2 by 6 by 12s for the roof structure. And then we've got 4 by 4 poles for the vertical part, vertical portion. And these are uh, just enough, they're just high enough to where I don't hit my head when I walk underneath here. So that was like the, the biggest thing is I have to be able to walk under these without bonking my noggin. So I'm 6 foot 1. So these are just a little bit over that. Ooh, I'm tripping, falling on a little rock. <laughs> but yeah. It's fairly straight. I'm no carpenter by any means. I have no idea what I'm doing. But it's fairly straight. And then those guys uh, on the top, they go 12 and a half inches past the bracket so that I can make the whole thing square. And as far as it being level, I purposely made that end taller because this end is higher off the ground than this end by just a little, little bit. Uh, my good friend Shane was over here with his laser level and we figured it out. So I made this side higher. That way the water will go down here. It'll all run down to this end when we get the gutters installed. And then we're gonna put uh, we're gonna put that water tank over here, probably right where the tractor's at. That way, I won't have to run a whole bunch of weird plumbing to uh, uh, capture the rainwater. And I'm probably gonna take the tank and put it up on a bunch of cinder blocks too. So we'll level off this area right where the tractor's at. We'll put I don't even know how many cinder blocks, 20 or 30 of them, in a it's kind of a spiral pattern. And then uh, we'll put the uh, water tank on top of it. So that'll give me about a foot and a half to two feet higher than uh, than it would normally be. That way I can use the gravity to uh, refill uh, everything with water instead of having to use a pump. Or at least that's the idea. So what do you guys think? It's 40 feet by 10, I want to say 10, 40 foot by 10 foot. Yeah, 40 foot by 10 foot. So it's 10 feet in between the shipping container and the vertical poles. And then it's 40 foot long because it's a 40 foot long shipping container. And then the height, let me see here. I'll have to use the tape measure for that. I want to say it's uh, uh, 11 or 12 feet on this side. Let's see here if I can reach that without the tape blowing over. It's a little windy out here, guys. Sorry about that. All right. Ah. All right. This doesn't want to work with one hand. It's a stubborn son of a gun. All right. 
So we go down here. So it's about 10 foot six, so 10 and a half feet tall at the tallest port, the tallest point. And then over here, it should just be like six foot two or something. Ah, I cannot do this. I need an extra hand. Let's see if we can get this to work. Come on. It is almost time for a trip to the store. And we're looking at six foot four. So it's three, about three inches above my head in between. That. Or no, I'm sorry. I measured from right there. So that's, uh, it would be six foot two and a half. So about an inch and a half, inch, inch and a half of a room between my noggin and the bottom of this. So there we have it, you guys. We got a good start going on the rainwater harvesting system. I'm pretty excited about this. And uh, in the future, we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side too. So we'll have uh, 80 foot by 10 foot. So it'll be a pretty large surface area for collecting rainwater. And I can park my rigs under here too and prolong the life of the paint. Same with the tractor as well. Keep them out of the elements. So that's it for today, you guys. So. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, pop those in down below. And as always, keep building and try to be good to each other. Some of us aren't here for very long, and a little bit of kindness will go a really long ways. At least that's how I feel. So God bless you all, and peace.